Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is at $39,150.70 and it's been going down a lot lately. Just today actually, it's down 16.15% and in the past month, as you can see I'm down 41.06% in the past month. So I'm down by a lot and this is because BABA is making up a majority of my portfolio right now and basically I bought the dip and then it just keeps on dipping with no end in sight honestly I can't remember the last time we've had really a good green day but yeah I'm just adjusting a lot of my positions as I go I got some calendar spreads as well and then I have some other positions too like Pinterest Swish FTCB and NSTB, but mostly it's just BABA that's destroying my portfolio. But I'm still hanging on, and we'll see if it bounces anytime soon. As for me personally, I've been going to knots every single day. Today I got, let me show you guys, like corn on the cob and barbecue chicken and things like that, included with my dining pass. Anyways, yeah, I'm just holding on for now. The end of the month coming up in about two weeks so we'll see where things go from there I do have some spreads that expire on the 27th um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get rid of the 195 calls that I'm selling and get 190s instead because even in Hong Kong right now it's down about 2% let me check. That's the crazy thing about BABA. It's not only on the American stock market, but also on, yeah, it's it's down like two and a half percent right now. So yeah, it just keeps on going down. Um, And because of that, my portfolio just keeps on crashing. I'm still bullish, especially where it is right now. And if I have to, I'll keep on rolling it out to like 2023. But for now, I'm just holding on and waiting. And like I said, hopefully we start having some green days soon. And that's pretty much it for my portfolio update. Just want to share with you guys. I have no problem showing my losses. Like, I don't really care. But it's just hard to find time nowadays. With traffic, it takes like two hours. Okay, here's the thing about Knott's Berry Farm. I bought a parking pass, right? What's so annoying is that they actually close the parking lot hours before the park closes. Like the park closes at, at like 10 p.m. I've gone there as soon as like 6 p.m. and the parking lot is already closed by then. And that is so annoying. It makes me feel like I wasted money on the parking when I could have just... Uh, not paid for the parking pass and just park there because there's places to park around the park that are a little bit further of a walk but it's free and most of the time the parking lot is closed anyways waste of money all right i'll keep updating you guys and showing you guys uh, how my portfolio is doing and yeah thanks for watching see you guys next time bye